Hey everyone again, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Got a, oh, a custom built desktop here that uh, this gentleman has built himself. And he said there's not getting any power. So as he powers it on and nothing happens. By nothing happens, I mean he says he presses the power button and absolutely nothing happens. There is a light on the motherboard that he says that comes on. This is his third build, he says. Uh, not really sure you know if that means anything or not he showed me a processor that he had that had smashed up pins on it um <laughs> that he said he was going to use to maybe troubleshoot this and um i wish i would have kept that to show you guys but he had smashed up pins all on it and he was going to use it to troubleshoot this machine or ask me if i wanted to use it to troubleshoot this machine i says man that thing's trash anyway that's all i know right now real quick one thing i do notice off the bat what the heck is this um why how how does this get mounted like this i don't know all right as we see here he does have a wow that's floating around in there, isn't it? That's just, what is that? <laughs> okay, this is just floating around. It's actually, uh, it feels like it's somewhat magnetized because of the magnet inside the drive. But anyways, no, this isn't mounted in any kind of way. It's just kind of sitting in there, which is okay, I guess. Um, that's all connected properly. Okay. All right, well, let's get this plugged in and let's see if we can replicate what he's the problem is that he's talking about. Shouldn't be hard to do. Okay, one thing I have noticed, of course, he's, his power supply is switched to off. Certainly, that can't be the problem. It has been the problem before on one of my other uh, videos I did where a young man didn't flip the switch. Anyway, we're going to, we got everything hooked up here, monitor, keyboard, mouse. Uh, let's let's flip the switch all right and uh, looking inside oh uh, yeah we got a, the LED uh, that goes around the the uh, audio sound card of the, on the system as you can see hopefully yep you can see that um, all right and then here's the power button here let's turn it on oh nice well absolutely nothing okay well first thing I'm going to target is that power supply obviously let's be sure uh, I did check the front panel that is hooked up correctly that power button is hooked up correctly but I am going to test this with a known good power supply and let's see if we get a change okay got my known good power supply hooked up here ready to go I'm not going to bother plugging anything else up I just want to see if we get power to this computer. Uh, so let's hit that power button. Nothing. Wow. Okay. Dead as a dodo bird. Further investigation is needed. I think I'm going to go back to the original power supply. Remove the video card. Remove the RAM. And let's see if we get at least a power on. A, a fan spin up or something. To eliminate these components. A couple of components of being the problem. This isn't looking good, but let's try it. I have removed the RAM. Removed the video card. He had some of this good old... G skill Trident Z 16 gig. This looks like it might have been used. It's a little rubbed off there, but doesn't matter. This is the video card here. It's the uh, 4060, basically, 8 gig. And I got my power supply hooked back up. So uh, we're going to go ahead and plug this guy in. This funny mounted power supply. Let's go ahead and see if we get any fan spinning. Nothing. To recheck this power switch, yes, that is in the correct pins, definitely is. We've got a problem here. we got a big problem here. Big, big problem. Something's critically bad with this. So next step, uh, let's see, I've unplugged it. Let's just go ahead and remove the rest of the headers here. That's a fan. I'm not worried about that. There's the front panel audio. Remove that. Um, nothing else really to remove. Um, let's go ahead and, for giggles, unplug the hard drive. <laughs> you can unplug that. 
put it back, lay it back down. That's everything unplugged off the board, basically. Um, let's try it. I don't have much hope for it. It's plugged in. We got our motherboard lights here, which shows us getting power. Nothing. Okay, well, next step, probably I would say, let's uh, probably we're gonna remove this heat sink and check that power, that uh, CPU, see what shape it's in. It's not looking good for the motherboard at the moment, that's for sure. That's not gonna cause it not to even power on, there's no way. Um, yep, let's dig deeper. All right, let's go ahead and just remove this heat sink. See what we're looking like. I'll just unplug it. Um, almost scared to see what's under here. Pretty sure it's got that back plate. Ooh, it felt like it already came off. Look at that. This thing wasn't even on there all the way. Look at that. Oh goodness gracious! What in the world? All right, I just heard the back plate fall out. What the heck? Bent pins. There's bent pins all on this thing, man. There's your bent pins. Yep. Bent pins, and to be honest with you, that's game over for this guy. But we need to test to make sure that motherboard is, is working. I, I think the motherboard might be an issue also. But there's bent pins, man. My goodness gracious. Oh, and there's thermal paste on the pins too. What the heck, man? Somebody don't need, needs to be staying away from computers, man. That's for sure. So I guess what I'm going to try to do is... Uh, put a known good processor in here and let me test to see if I mean to tell you the truth even if it had bent pins it should not have prevented at least the fans from spinning you know what I mean I have a feeling his motherboard shot too and of course his processor is shot just uh, a big big mess anyway we'll figure out where to go with this a little bit too too damaged to try to bend those back they're bent down pretty darn good man and there's several of them that are sporadic how does how do you do that there how do you get thermal paste all in between the pins like that i don't know if you could tell on camera but also what that's done is that's also gotten some some thermal paste down in the socket itself so i don't know i may try to get that out with the toothbrush or something i don't know i gotta test the board though but you know when the fans don't even spin up that's a problem let's have a look at what chip he has destroyed let's see oh well there goes that doesn't matter that's a lot of thermal paste on there this is wow guys this is a ryzen 9 5900x wow let's have a let's have a quick look at what that costs at the time of this video Ryzen 9 5900x you're looking at about uh, at the time of this video uh, tax and everything probably about close to $300 right here it's pretty much messed up so let's let's go with uh, <clears throat> his motherboard's hose man Let's try this. I'm going to remove the front panel power switch and just jumper it off just to see if we can uh, get that to roll. You are getting absolutely nothing. I mean, not even fan spins kicking on, nothing at all. Everything's plugged in. I mean, he's got the LEDs lighting up on the board. It's just not kicking on fans or nothing hey how about this he's only got one fan on this thing and so that's the one in the rear so that's kind of funny but not really turn this around so i know i'm kind of backwards and sideways here and i'm going to plug this guy back in 
I want to see if this power supply is even working at all. Okay, there we go. All right, so that power supply is working. You see the fan spinning there? <clears throat> okay, that confirms that. It's probably stopping because it's not under a load. All right, I've removed the, the board. I put the power supply back. Um, I'm still thinking the power supply is okay, considering I do get RGB lights. The power supply does power on with the, the power on test that I did there. So uh, one thing I did notice, he's got an extra uh, standoff here. Could be touching the bottom of the board in a way that it shorts it. I don't think that's the case, but I did notice that. that he's got an extra standoff. Sticks just touching the bottom of this board. Uh, another issue I can see, I don't know if you can see here, but there is thermal paste all in the uh, all in the socket here. So, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this flat on my, my bench here, use my own known good power supply, and see if I can at least get this to power on. Okay, here's what I've done. Um, I'm not sticking my good, good processor in this socket. Uh, it looks like, it looks like there may be some burn mark it's really rough along the edges here of the socket as opposed to this side something he's done something here it's very discolored and that's right in the same area of the processor that has the worst bent pins so I'm not about to stick I don't you don't need a processor to know if a motherboard can even fire up you don't have to have a processor in there I have the CPU fan plugged in and uh, I've got the known good power supply plugged in and I'm jumpering the pins I don't know if you can see here but it does have the LEDs lit here but uh, I'm still not getting any anything from this board it, I mean you would at least get a CPU fan spin up here uh, if the board was okay um, but it's not doing that so He's messed his board up too. I guess the only steps I can take now is I can go ahead and probably I can test his memory and I can test his video card on uh on my on my test board just to let him know that those items are okay. But other than that, this is just a complete loss. It's a shame. He's uh just you know some people just don't need to be building computers uh, and I think this person is is one of them. Um, he's going to pay me for diagnostics fee for sure, but uh, yep, it's, a, it's a pretty much the heart of the computer, motherboard and processor are just shot. So anyway, let me get these uh, items tested and then we'll contact them. Okay, well, got his video card and his RAM installed here on my test board and I have confirmed that uh, those are in good shape. So, hey, at least he's got that going for him, right? At least he's got that going for him. Anyways, thanks for coming along with me on this one. I'm Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. See you soon.